How you doctors doing? Hi, how are you? Hi. Uh, Travis, my question I had for you was um, basically how modern uh, technology is constantly evolving and changing, but when we go to the doctor, it's still the same cough test, you know, and like how it hasn't changed any bit, and that's, that's kind of weird. I'm really curious about it. Well, what you're, when you're coughing, you're increasing your intra-abdominal pressure, and your doctor is looking for an inguinal hernia. So when you're young, your, your testes descend through your inguinal canal. And in some people, that canal doesn't completely close. And so you can get what's called an indirect inguinal hernia. And so your doctor is actually feeling up through your scrotum to feel for that hernia. But sometimes the only way it actually protrudes is with increased pressure. So this is what happens. Look at this demo here. So let's say your inguinal canal hasn't completely closed. So when you cough, <coughs> <coughs> your doctor is feeling that against You got a his hernia. <laughs> Looks like a hernia. And, and, and so, you actually feel it against your finger mm -hmm. as you're coughing. Now, when, when that canal, if it's, if it's too big and, and the, the area is wide open, you know, that hernia may just be hanging in your scrotal mm -hmm. region, and you'll go into the doc and say, Doc, my right testicle is huge right now. Right, yeah. I don't know what's going on. It's actually the intestines have folded into the, the scrotal sac, and... It can be a very scary thing for men. Like, what mm -hmm. in the world is going on? But it's really your intestines, and, and so that would, in most cases, need uh, a surgical repair. If you don't see that, uh, that hernia, it can get worse and worse and worse, the intestines in the scrotum. And, and they have news. to test both and, sides. And again, yeah, hernia is just a term that we use for any weakened anatomic structure that's meant to hold things in. Mm -hmm. If there's a rent, if you lose that support, uh, typically in the abdomen or in the groin, like Dr. Mm -hmm. Travis said. We'll see it in umbil umbilical hernias after, especially women who've had pregnancies because this area will get weakened mm -hmm. or they get weakened by C-sections. Yeah, or in young kids, we see it belly button. I call them belly button hernias since mm -hmm. kids Those don't kids. know what an umbilicus is. But yeah. yeah, it's right there in the belly button. And, 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 here's, the, and here's the other thing is you don't really have to cough. That movement is called a valsalva. If you just kind of bear mm -hmm. down. Like a grunt. Because <laughs> you're... Yeah, you're pushing that diaphragm down. Hernia check. Okay, Travis. Okay, here we go. You're gonna have to turn, turn your head and go. You know why they have you turn your head though, right? What, what, yes, yeah, so you don't cough gonna... all over the doctor. Right. But one of the best things about becoming a physician is you can check yourself. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want you checking my, my hernia. Well, I can do it for you. Well, there we go. That's, that's for the late. John, thanks for that great Thank question. you guys so much. Appreciate right. it. Thanks for coming on.